Well, the emergency department is a point of entry for treatment. Many times people with addiction aren't necessarily in that moment seeking treatment for their addiction, but they may come to primary care or an emergency department for a medical problem or a medical consequence. So if at the same time as they're receiving treatment for their medical condition, they can be identified as having opioid use disorder, that's an ideal place to start treatment if it's available and if it's appropriate. Well, sometimes the diagnosis is um, sometimes the diagnosis is easier because the person already is known to have it. It's in their chart. They're describing, for example, daily heroin use, injection, opioid use. Really, addiction is the loss of control over a substance despite consequences and just having a conversation with a patient asking a couple of screening questions can be very enlightening uh, to do a really full diagnosis. Of course, there are uh, symptoms according to the DSM-5 checklist that can formally diagnose opioid use disorder, but sometimes it's, it's more apparent just through history taking.